a number of things could happen. One thing we're looking at is a lot of our students, I don't know whether you're local Teesside people, a lot of our students are local Teesside people, and many of them work in Tesco's and Sainsbury's and so on part-time. So I say, rather than a student be a full-time student and work part-time, why couldn't they work and study part-time if they could still do their degree in three years? What would be wrong with that? So we could actually think about changing the way people work and have more students studying alongside work that would mean they can still graduate in three years, but they leave with three years' work experience, they have an income while they're working, they wouldn't need to take student loans, perhaps. So we're looking at one possibility of changing things around. But, but I think it is important to say, when the government looked at alternatives, the first thing they looked at was doing nothing, and they decided they couldn't afford that. The second thing they looked at was cutting the number of university places by 58%. 58%. So only two in every five students who go to university would get a place in the future. I think it would be disastrous. It would just be a nightmare for the UK economy to say that suddenly students could say, I can't afford to do this, I'll do something else. And some students will, and they will absolutely be the right thing to do. So they might get an apprenticeship and they might go and work as a, in some sort of craft, technical type role. That would be fantastic for them. But we will still need professional people, we'll still need lawyers and accountants and we'll still need engineers and doctors and teachers and those careers are going to remain graduate careers.